The history of parkour art du déplacement. So it was a group of uh, young men. Uh, they were the Yamakasi guys. So the Yamakasi group includes David Bell and Sébastien Foucault. All these guys, Yann Neutra, Chao Bellin, William Bell, Laurent Piemontesi, uh, Charles Perrière, uh, Malik Diouf and uh, Guillain. They were one group, one group of friends practicing the same art. And then, uh, because of different point of view, people renamed it. Uh, so David, David chose parkour and Sebastian now chose freerun. But basically, I think all agree, this was at the beginning one and the same discipline, same name, same practicing. So it's just now, um, it evolves and people renamed it differently, but uh, it was one practicing at the beginning. Yeah. Uh, so my story, this is, uh, I trained with David. I met the Yamakasi a bit afterwards. It was new, it was interesting, very intense in many, many ways, physically, mentally. I was just amazed at how far someone can push itself. At the beginning, it was strong. What does it mean? They put some values behind this word to be strong. So it started physically. They started, yes, doing challenges. Can you lift up these rocks? Can you lift up this car? Can you push this? Can you jump uh, and touch this wall? They started also put some big numbers and amount of repetitions. It was lots of instincts. There were not real methods of training at this time. It took time, I mean, uh, it took time even for them to really understand what they were doing. Today, tracers become a common word. Everybody call a parkour or RD déplacement practitioner a tracer. And I don't know where we come to this point, but basically tracers is a group of practitioners And the group of practitioners was my brother, Johan, Sébastien Goudot, Thomas, Michael Ramdani, Kazuma, Jérôme Benawes, Sébastien Foucault, David Bell and I. So it was a group after the Yamakasi being created. It was the second group we called ourselves the Tracers. And today it's a common word. The origin of this word is a group of a person. So for me it's a bit, uh, it puts limitation to the discipline. So after all these troubles we had in France and with the development of parkour with Sebastian and stuff. So I decided to leave and, and live in Thailand. After a few years uh, there in Thailand, I noticed that I wasn't achieving anything personally. In the same time, Chao from the Yamakasi gave me a call and uh, he said that I should go back to England and do something there because it was growing up and not necessarily in a good way. So I should go there and, and try to establish something proper. And so I said, okay, let's go to England and see what's going on there. If, if there's something to do, let's do it. It's now or, or never. I came here, met Forrest, Dan, then uh, we started the generation a few weeks after I just arrived here in London. I realized that if I wanted to make it big and, and proper, I had to involve the right people. So, so I started calling the French tracer. At least for once, we sounds like we're about to do uh, real things for the discipline. I met uh, Chao and William and Laurent and Yann also, and they said, okay, Stefan, cool. If you do it, we follow you. We can do something together before people do it with not the right intention. We find it very, very hard now for the new practitioner who comes because for them, they see parkour as a media thing and this is a, a thing which can generate money and it can be a job. Even if they have good intentions, they know this business aspect of it mm -hmm. exists. It can be hard for them then to, to start from the beginning, have the, the right understanding and the right uh, approach about training. Most of the time people have the energy to go out and train, but they don't pay attention to, to the details. Uh, for instance, you, you have a certain distance to go, to go quadrupedi, monkey walk, Most of the time, people will finish or stop before the line. For instance, I don't cheat with myself. If I say something, I do it. I keep my word. It's more about the attitude you should have during training rather than the, the exercise itself. The reason we, we work with parkour generation is to make sure people have a better understanding of what is art du déplacement and parkour. For the moment, the problem is that we have a misunderstanding of what it is, really. And it's not just about doing a backflip and impress your, your friends. But if you want to last and still be in shape, you need to really think about what you're doing, understand why you are doing this. Do you know the origin? Do you know the spirit? How it has been created? How it was born? So we try to keep these values. And for us, it's a school of life. It's an art where we practice every day and uh, Uh, not only physically but mentally also. I mean, we all want to be good men in our life. You know, we want to evolve, and there's no point to be very strong in your displacement 
but very bad in your everyday life. It's a long, long journey. It's an everyday work to improve yourself, to be better, to have something deeper. You need to, 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 to give more effort, and to give more of yourself, be honest with yourself, face your fears, and share and, and help people, and just be human, you know? So this is why we, we spend time with people, we train people, we, we help them, we push them to be, to be better. I think co competition uh, is dangerous for your ego. I like the performance aspect of it, but the problem of competition is parkour is a new discipline, it's a new sport, and it's about to be established and recognized, and I don't think doing a competition right now is the best thing to do for the sport. Parkour is really close to the media, to the show-off aspect, you know, do a backflip and perform in movies and stuff like that. So all this stuff related to the ego is, is not really good. The competition thing is not really good. But in a way, it's already happening. I'm not really a fan of it. I'm not supporting it at all. None of us on Parkour Generation or the Yamakasi or... I know Sebastian, I know David. None of the founders guys are supported the previous uh, World Free Run Championship. None of us who, uh, support this, let's make it clear. What we may do in the future, like a world gathering, so first of all it has to be run from an international association. Different countries has to be involved in the process, has to have their ideas, their input, their discussion, we have to discuss this all together. You can't say it's a World Free Run Championship and you're only one to set it up. This is not true. So we'll find a way to to create an event where everybody is represented, it has to be done properly. This is why uh, we take time. We take time to do it. And, uh, voilà. Hopefully, uh, between now and the time we'll be ready to release this kind of event with lots of people involved in it. I hope we won't have too much of the uh, crap event uh, we saw recently because I, s I believe it's very bad for the image of the sport. People use it to make money, that's cool for them if they want to, but uh, for the sport, it's not good. People is it's too young, too young. It's about to be established and ah, <laughs> people will start messing up with it already. The media has will will may have a wrong idea of what what the sport is. Good uh, training <laughs> to you all and uh, ah, keep practicing. <laughs>